Brighten your day by watching the Time with Teresa television show. And now, your host, Teresa Westbrook. Welcome to the program. I'm so happy you've tuned in, and we are so happy to announce that we have just released a new book titled Shattered, God Heals Broken Hearts. It's full of stories of tragedy to triumph, overcoming, victory, and so much more. And I've got two very special guests with me on the program today who've been such a blessing and who have stood with me throughout the process of writing Shattered. Now, let me introduce you to my first guest, Marilyn Phillips. Welcome, Marilyn. Hello. I'm so happy to be here with you, Teresa. Well, it is great to have you, and we certainly appreciate you coming to be with us today. And let's just get right into this because we don't have much time, but I want you to share with our viewers a little bit more about your professional background. I'll be glad to. I stayed home with my two children, Brian and Rebecca, until my youngest entered kindergarten, and then I started college. I graduated at age 40 to fulfill my dream of being a teacher, and so I taught first or second grade for about 20 years. Now I'm retired from teaching, but I'm refired to share about Jesus because I'm part of a group called God's Amazing Love Storytellers. And we present at churches, ladies retreats and different events. And we share stories from the Bible. And it's so exciting. I love that. Not retired, but refired. That's correct. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Well, Marilyn, you've been an author for many years. How many books have you written? I've been a part of 20 books, either writing, co-writing, or group writing with God's Amazing Love Storytellers. They're all on Amazon.com, and they're all available through my webpage as well. Awesome. I also awesome. have articles in Chicken Soup for the Soul, five different books, and in magazines, God Post, Living with Teenagers, Home Life, and other magazines. Cool. That's wonderful. Well, now, um, I want to know what inspired you to start writing? It was a life-shattering event that inspired me to start writing. It was when my daughter was age three months and she was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, which is an incurable and progressive lung disease. Doctors told us that she would only live until age 13. So can you imagine how devastated we felt? Our life just shattered right in front of us. And we have the choice to either trust in Jesus Christ for the day or just be filled of bitterness. And we chose joy. So we decided to really focus on every day of thanking God that she was alive and we were alive instead of focusing on the fact that she might die at an early age. And so I began journaling and writing my prayers and thoughts to God. And he filled me with scripture. And then my husband encouraged me to attend Billy Graham's writing school in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where I was surrounded with professional, um, experienced writers who really encouraged me to make my journal into a book. And so that was my first book. And it was a cheerleader for life about my daughter who has cystic fibrosis and how God minister to my heart through every instance. Yes, I was looking at those books you have there. It looks like you have a few more on the table. What else do you have there? We do. Uh, I'm real excited to share about this book. It's called Limitless Promises, a Bible study from Psalms. And this is a book that the gals wrote during the pandemic. And we had it published in October of last year. We presented the Bible study in the spring of this year at our at a church and then also in the fall. And it is just filled with scripture. I think there's over 200 scriptures of God's promises and how he keeps his promises and they're limitless. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, now I would like you to take a few minutes and share with us uh, a positive story um, that has come as a result 
of one of your books that you've written. Oh, I would love to share that. It happened almost a year ago today. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, which is a rare blood cancer. And they said I would only live five years. But my doctor said I really needed to do a stem cell transplant that would help. And so I did a stem cell transplant. And during the time I was in the hospital, I took this book with me. I let my hospital room be a room of ministry. I decided that anyone who came into my room, God had a reason for them to be there. And so I shared, I took all of my 20 books and just said, I would love to give you one of my books and I would love to pray for you. And most of them chose this book. And here's the story I wanted to share. My doctor, Dr. Panera, I gave him a book. This is the one he chose. And the very next day he said, Marilyn, I couldn't put the book down. And there's a patient two doors down that really needs this book. Could you give me another book to give to her? And that just really ministered to me and was so meaningful that during this life shattering event of a stem cell hospitalization, chemo where I lost all my hair, that God used the scripture in this book to minister to others. That's beautiful, Marilyn. Praise God for that. We praise God for him healing you. We are yes. lifting you up in prayer constantly that God just brings you and your daughter through. And we've seen some amazing uh, miracles on this journey as we've been together on this journey of yeah. writing Shattered and getting it published. And uh, so that is just beautiful. That is so wonderful. And we certainly thank you for sewing into Shattered your gifts and your talents and your skills. And my goodness, you are such, uh, I call you eagle eyes on copy editing. <laughs> you are eagle eyes. <laughs> you caught that Thank you. we just could not catch or would not catch and just it just seems so effortless for you but that's part of your giftings and your talents among many more so thank you so thank much you. for all that you did with uh shattered and it was a delight to have you on this journey and to see your smiling face and hear your encouragement along the way it was such a blessing so we appreciate that uh, and thank you for coming to be on the program. And we'll all three of us, me and you and Tammy, will be on a little bit later on in the program. But right now, I want to roll in a book trailer. So we'll be right back. Okay. Oh, no. What do you do when life breaks you into a million pieces? How do you cope? How do you recover? Is there anyone that can put all the pieces back together again? Yes, friends, there is. Once in the hands of Christ, brokenness can be redeemed and repurposed. Hi, I'm Teresa Westbrook, author of Shattered, God Heals Broken Hearts. Throughout the years, it's been my great honor and delight to interview many champions of the faith on my television program, Time with Teresa. Their stories of surviving some of life's greatest tragedies has been compiled in this new ministry resource book that offers encouragement, wisdom, hope, healing, and so much more. You'll read their compelling stories about forgiveness, survival, rekindled hope, overcoming, and of course, lots of victories. I hope you'll pick up your copy of Shattered, God Heals Broken Hearts. Special thanks to all who were involved in the making of Shattered, God Heals Broken Hearts. God bless you. All right, welcome back. And joining me now is co-author of Shattered, Tamara Roberts. Welcome, Tamara. Hi, it's good to see you again, even if it's by Zoom. <laughs> so good to see you too. And um, Tammy, it's been such a blessing to have you on this journey. And we've got a lot to talk about today in just a very little bit of time. So I want to get right into it. Now, you come from a, a medical career, 
but you've given yourself to many forms of writing. Please share more about your professional background with our viewers. Well, I, I always wanted to fix things. My mother said I used to carry a little tiny patent leather purse with uh, tape in it. And it didn't matter what happened to somebody or something. I thought that would fix it. I would say, I fix it, I fix it. And uh, so that was the beginning of my nursing career. <laughs> Um, many, many years later, I began uh, looking into how I could uh, help people really get better. And one of the ways that I enjoyed doing it the most was with humor. And as it turns out, the very first uh, doctors were medicine men. They would smear berry juice on their faces and dance around and be silly and make people laugh and they felt better. So uh, it's not unusual that someone who wants to heal people would also become a clown. So I went to clown school so I could learn to entertain people as well. So it all went together um, to try to bring some joy and healing in people's lives. My goodness, that's a colorful background. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, how many books and articles have you written to date? It's over 250 articles. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many. I don't have even a copy of every single one that I've written now. Um, I've written two complete books, Chronicles of a Warrior Princess and Who Me, a, a Mighty Woman of Valor, which is, you know, when somebody tells you you're a mighty woman of valor, the first thing you think is me. <laughs> Just like Gideon did when the angel said, you're a mighty man of valor. And I'm sure he was going, <laughs> who, who are you talking to? <laughs> So that's where that came from. But the truth is, with Jesus and the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, all of us women can be mighty women of valor. And as I taught about the, this kind of is a story of the prayer that we pray when we're putting on our um, armor of God, only the helmet of salvation. I looked in the mirror one day and I said, I don't want helmet hair. I'm a daughter of the King of Kings, right, God? So could I please have a tiara of salvation instead? And that began this journey. So this book is about not just putting your armor on, putting it on princess style. And there's so many armor sermons and books and everything. But how do people consistently remember to put their armor on? And this tells you how. And then as I was doing women's seminars on bring your own tiara and, and putting that armor on, I realized that my students love to dress up. They love to go. I teach seventh grade girls and they, um, they weren't quite getting it. They, they loved to, they sat and listened, but it was too deep. So I wanted them to see it actually happen. And I made a fiction adventure and that's what um, Chronicles of a Warrior Princess Joy's Journey is all about. Wow. Okay. Well, now we know you write books and articles, but I also know that you write skits and screenplays. So I want to know uh, more about that and which do you prefer to write and why? Well, I, I think I do love to write skits and musicals and dramas and see the live performances. I love to see people react. I love to see how after people that maybe have uh, some kind of wall up when they laugh, they kind of drop that wall and they're willing to really hear the truth that you want to tell them. Um, and, and I think that's why I like to use humor a lot because um, we can really join together. We can open our hearts and then we can receive the truth that God wants us to have. Um, one of my favorite things with the gals is when we do perform, we get to see how uh, the people are reacting. I love to see a little tear every once in a while. And I love to see a lot of laughter. And I love to hear afterwards how it changed people's lives because we always teach about the Bible and the gal skits. And um, it does equip people for things that are coming up, for even things that are going on in their lives now. And it does encourage people. And I love to be an encourager. Yes, yes. Awesome. Well, you have many gifts and many talents to share with the world and with the body of Christ. And we're so thankful for that. I just 
wonder, is there one particular story you could share about how one of your presentations, your skits, or your storytelling, you're a very good storyteller, how that has impacted a life? Well, I have to go back to one of my musicals. Uh, my husband uh, used to do musicals with choir and orchestra, and he would have me write the drama and direct it and then do the musicals. And one year, uh, it was always about the life of Christ. And one year we had uh, the man who was playing Jesus. His father came into town and came to the uh, musical because his son was in it. And he saw and experienced what it was like for a father to see his son on the cross. He finally understood what it was like that wow. Jesus gave his life for us and how God loved us so much that he would allow that. And he gave his life to Christ. Oh, my I think goodness. that's my favorite. <laughs> Mine too. I love that. I love that. Oh, praise God. I mean, that is just worth so much to be impacted that deeply mm -hmm. and win a soul to the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. So, um, well, and there's musicals too. So <laughs> you just like them all then, I guess. Huh? <laughs> well, it was just the drama for the musical. My husband would would pick different songs from maybe three or four different musicals. So I had, that was probably the hardest to do was to, to honor the, the original script that the person wrote with the characters and those kinds of things, go with the, uh, the thought that my husband had and, and put it together in the story so people could see the life of Christ from different viewpoints every year. And it did make a difference. I, I didn't realize how much until we were moving away and so many people uh, came and told us, even the children that were in the musicals, the parents said that they would watch the video and, and, and imitate it over and over and over. And, and many of them I still stay in touch with. And, and they're such neat little, well, now big uh, Christians. Oh, beautiful. Praise God. That's just awesome. Well, Tammy, it's been such a delight to interview you personally on the program today. And I'm so thankful that you've been a part of Shattered and you've stood with me on this journey and given yourself and your talents to writing and helping with this. And you've just been such a blessing. And I thank God for all that you do in the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, please help me welcome back my friends and part of the writing journey of Shattered, Tamara Roberts and Marilyn Phillips. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. We're <laughs> glad to be here. here. <laughs> so good to see y'all. Well, now I have a few questions to ask you about Shattered and your journey on Shattered. I want to know, with such busy schedules in your own ministry projects, why in the world did you guys volunteer to help with Shattered? <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I remember the very first time I heard you say something, Teresa, I knew this book was going to help a lot of people. This is a very important book. And the more we did something with it, the more I knew it was very important. Didn't you? Oh, yes, I agree. And I know that when I go through shattering life experiences that God uses people to minister to me. So I wanted to minister to others for that very reason. Actually, when, when we were editing the book, um, she was going through cancer treatment and she would say, oh, when I, I read that story and I was editing it, she said, it just blessed me so much and it really helped me. And so it helped us get through our own stuff. <laughs> it did. Oh, that's beautiful. Praise God. That's wonderful. I know. And I just... I would just pray for y'all every day because I knew so many challenges. Of course, I was going through challenges too, but I just knew y'all were going through so much and had such busy schedules. And I just, I just, you know, would feel bad sometimes about y'all being a part of the journey with your schedules loads being so heavily, but y'all always had joy and cheerfully wanted to be a part of it. And I'm so thankful for that. And y'all were such an encouragement to me along the way, as we were in this writing process and gathering this together, you would think a compilation book 
wouldn't be nearly as hard as what it turned out to be. But I learned several things along the way. Right. <laughs> this is yeah. my third book to be writing. And I learned and I thought, oh, a compilation book, that'll be so much easier. <laughs> and I learned along the way, no. And one of the big challenges is scheduling. So praise God, though. He got us, he got us to publishing, got us to the finish line. Praise God. So now um, you've shared some of the ways that Shattered has been a blessing to you as well during these times of difficulty. Uh, so is there anything else that comes to mind uh, that happened during this journey that um was a positive story as we've been on this journey with Shattered? Well, during this time, after I had the chemo and the stem cell transplant, my daughter, who had a double lung transplant three years ago, had lung transplant rejection. And she was in the hospital for 41 days in ICU for three weeks with uh, intubated and feeding tube. And we just didn't even know if she would live. Uh, so that was a shattering event. And like Tammy said, when we were reading the articles, it ministered to us. So sometimes I would be at the hospital all day and come home and y'all had worked on stories and edited them and sent them to me and I would read them and I would just weep, just knowing that God was in control. Even though my daughter was in ICU, that God was in control. And I could trust Jesus Christ, who saved me at age seven. I could trust him with today, with my daughter, and tomorrow throughout eternity. So the life-shattering events that I was going through was my daughter in the hospital every day. And I was so encouraged when I would read the articles. And that's why I'm so excited. I cannot wait till people can read this is such a ministry book and Tammy you were going through a lot of things too yes yes I don't know which one to pick <laughs> there's so many I know. yeah but you know every one of them I would I would say well you know I'm thinking about this story and this person pulled through so surely I can too right. and the very the the scripture promises the the um the the tips on and, and and the good counsel that mm -hmm. we got from the stories and and then the promises after and that kind of thing it it got me through yes yes amen well it was absolutely i i tell people all the time i i don't like to write books and i only do it when i feel the lord is leading me to do that and so i've only written three and this is the third one and i only did it because I felt the Lord leading. I tell people with my first book, my personal story of overcoming childhood sexual abuse, you could pay me a million dollars to tell that story and had never been told. Uh, but because of the Lord and his direction, I shared that. And it's ministered to a lot of people along the way, a strand of pearls. And, uh, and then later on, I got to go speak and help people with that. And I got to capture their voice. They told me stories they'd never told anyone before. And so their stories are in the book of the advocates. And so it's been such a blessing now to do this compilation because I've interviewed so many uh, remarkable people who have been from tragedy to triumph and more. And I thought, well, this just has to be published. You know, this has, plus I was going through my own shatterings yes, and, yes. uh, and that's how the book was named, Shattered, God Heals Broken Hearts. And I'm still walking out my journey of shattering. And, you know, my first book, I wanted to find that for this interview, but I just didn't have enough time. But on my first book, there was a whole list of things that were going on as I was writing that first book. So there's always spiritual warfare. Like my sister was diagnosed with breast cancer. Dawn's sister passed away of breast cancer the very day I had a book signing for that book. And there was just a whole list of things that were going on. And so there's just always been so much spiritual warfare surrounding right. writing books, the written words, because we include the written words of God, which is always under attack. We include testimonies of overcomers which is always under attack. But, you know, I heard a well-known preacher 
on a big network talking about his last book. He's written multiple books, multiple books, but talking about his last book that he wrote and how much spiritual warfare was on it that he called the publishers and said, I just don't even think I can do it. And he had to have people rally around him and encourage him to continue to go forward. And that was a very encouraging interview for me to hear that someone so gifted, so talented, and so experienced in that, well, he faced the very same thing we were facing on this journey. So that we just know to God be the glory, to God be the glory. It's all for him. And it's for our viewers. It's really not for us at all. It's for (laughs) God and it's for viewers to be encouraged and ministered to. So right, right. Wow. Praise God. Uh, Well, now, ladies, what do you hope that readers are going to walk away with after reading Shattered? I really hope that readers will be encouraged. I hope that they will find the hope that these people found the victory that these people found through, they could have been victims, but instead they, they are victorious or the, the trials that they went through, they were triumphant over those trials and it's all because of God. And, you know, there were, I feel like it, we're triumphant over giving birth to this book because <laughs> for a while there, I thought we're going to have to have the doc come in with some forceps because <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just not going to come. We, we just kept finding one more thing to fix and, and another. And, and then we had publishing technical things mm-hmm. going on and mm-hmm. it was such a mess. But you know what? God finally triumphed over that birth. Too. <laughs> I do feel like oh, the I agree. forceps had to pull a little. <laughs> right. And I really want the ministry book to be spread. So those that read it have friends that are going through so many things that are similar to this. And like Tammy said, God is victorious. He will heal your shattered heart. It's, he, it's over and over through the Bible. It's through this book. So I just encourage readers to get the book, read it, and then pass it on to others. Yes, they can become a missionary by doing that. They can become a missionary to bring in someone hope, healing, encouragement, wisdom, empowerment, insights, and uh, and also promises from the Bible. And, you know, we were so blessed to get endorsements from Dr. Robert Jeffress, from actress Nancy Stafford, and from international speaker Tracy Mitchell. And we have a call out for a Christian organization, a Christian counselors organization that are looking at it right now, considering endorsement. And so we'll have to plug that in. That's one edit we'll have to do when that comes in. But uh, we're (laughs) looking forward to that. (laughs) Because every Christian counselor, every counselor, basically, every Christian counselor, every counselor, every pastor, minister, clergy, I even think schools, schools need it. But we know there's a battle to get Jesus into the schools. (laughs) But wherever Jesus, uh, wherever the doors open for Jesus, that's where Shattered can go. Because Jesus, we're presenting Jesus all in the book of Shattered. So praise God. Praise God. Well, ladies, it's been so good to have you on the program. And it's been such a blessing to have you on the journey of Shattered. Y'all's encouragement, your gifts, your talents. And I just pray that the Lord will really reward you through this experience. And now you can start receiving all the wonderful fruit from the labors of this book. And that God can just shower his blessings on us in any way that he chooses And I just love you both and thank you. And I I thank God for you and all that you do in the kingdom of God. I love you too. And and it has been a great joy to go on this journey with you. It really has. Yes, I love you. And thank you for allowing me the privilege of being part of this amazing ministry book. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks for watching the Time with Teresa television show. For guest and sponsorship opportunities, contact Teresa today.